Today's book is going to be Alexander in the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Ready to turn the page. If you have a copy, read along with us. And make sure for the end of this video, slam that subscribe button. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. I got out of bed this morning. I tripped in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Here's the picture. At breakfast, Anthony found a carpet shrink ray carpet in his breakfast cereal box. Nick found a junior undercover agent toad ring in his breakfast cereal box, but mine breakfast cereal box? All I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. Here's the picture. In charcoal, Miss Garbinson let Becky have a seat by the window. Andrew and El Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was going to be, I was being censured. I said I was being smashed, smushed. I said if I don't get the seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Here's the picture of the car. Pages are stuck. At school, Miss Jenkins liked Paul's picture of a, the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said, I sang too loud. At counting time, she said, I left sick out. 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Here's the picture of him and his teacher. And if you look closely, you can see the sailboat right See, it's right here. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Ale Albert Mayo was his next best friend and that I was his only, th his third best friend. I hope you sit on a track, said Paul. I hope next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream falls apart, falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Now, that's just rude. Don't say that to people. Here's the picture. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and, and, and Albert got a Hershey bar 
with almonds and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And when they said, guess whose mother forgot to put in the dessert, they meant that his mother forgot to put in the dessert. That what it was because after school my mom took us all to the dentist. Dr. Field found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australian. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to get in the car, Anthony made me fall where I was muddy. Then when I started trying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby, and While I was punching Nick for saying cry baby, my mom came back with her car and scowled at me for being money and fighting. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose, chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones, but the shoe men said were sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones. They can't make me wear them. Oh, when we picked up my dad at his office, he said he couldn't play with his copy machine, but I forgot he also said to watch out for the books on his desks. I was careful as... as with his as could be accepted for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone. But I think I called Australia, said my dad. Please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. They put it on like every single page. I don't know why. Oh, it's probably because they want you to know how bad of a day. There were lima, be lima beans for dinner. And I hate lima beans. There were kissing on the on TV, and I hate kissing.
my bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain. I had to wear my pajamas. Wear my. I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate railroad train pajamas. Well, they're better than nothing. Would you rather just wear no pajamas, right? They keep you warm. When I went to bed, Nick t took back the pillow. He said I could keep and Mikey Mouse night light burned out I'm in the Mickey Mouse night light burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even Australia. The end. Wait, I forgot to show you this. That's it for the book. I hope you really slam that subscribe button like I mentioned in the other, in this video. Bye. And also make sure to like.